During his second missionary journey, Paul started several churches in an area called Galatia. Later, Paul wrote a letter to these churches because they were facing a big problem. The Galatian Christians had believed the gospel Paul preached to them, but false teachers had come preaching a different message, and the Galatians started to believe those lies. The false teachers taught that to be saved, a person needed more than just faith in Jesus. They said you had to obey the law of Moses too. The believers in Galatia were confused. Hmm. These new teachers seemed Hmm. trustworthy. So what was right? Paul wrote them a letter to stop their confusion. Paul told the believers he was amazed that they turned away from God so quickly. False teachers gave them a different message and they accepted it. But that message was not the gospel. Paul said that God will punish anyone who comes preaching a different message than the gospel he gave us through his son Jesus. Paul reminded the Galatians of what God had done for him. Before Paul met Jesus, Paul persecuted believers. Jesus appeared to Paul and called him to preach the gospel to the Gentiles. Jesus changed Paul and Paul dedicated his life to serving Jesus. Paul knew the gospel. Jesus came into the world to save sinners. This good news is for the Jews and Gentiles, and Jesus is all they need. Paul told the Galatians they were foolish. He urged them to think. Did they receive the Holy Spirit because they obeyed the laws? No. Did they receive the Holy Spirit because they heard the gospel and believed by faith? Yes. Paul wanted to make this clear. Every believer becomes a Christian by faith in Jesus. Every believer continues as a Christian by faith. No matter what any person says otherwise, no one can be saved by the law. All of salvation, from first trusting to faithful obedience, is God's gift to us through Jesus. The Holy Spirit changes our minds and hearts so that we want to obey God, and He gives us power to obey. Our righteousness does not come through faith in ourselves, but through faith in Jesus.